What up guys, Rob here with RJ Gaming. I'm coming at you with a little bit different of a video today. It's not about World of Warcraft, surprisingly. It's actually about this coffee grinder that I recently purchased. Now, I gotta tell you, this thing is super quiet, super efficient, and it just, it really gives you a good quality grind in your coffee. So much so, I had to do a video on it. I said, you know, I really want to be able to show people out there, you guys that are, you know, the coffee snobs, like me. You guys know that when I play World of Warcraft, I always have my Black Rifle Coffee Company coffee. It's my boys right there. Yeah, back there. See? I'll tell you, great coffee. Great group of people supporting the veterans. Shout out to those guys. Love you guys. And uh, some, just some phenomenal coffee. So, my Cuisinart coffee grinder that I had before... It was it was good. It did a really great job, but I didn't realize how loud it was until I've had this thing. Um, this thing is so quiet, guys. It is insane. And I just I had to do a video on it because I went to Bed Bath and Beyond last night and drove down before work. Forty nine ninety nine for the Cuisinart that I had before, and I said, you know, all right, like that's that's fine. I'll just get that. And then I looked, and they didn't have any. You know, on back order, blah blah blah. So. I ran over to Walmart and I said, boy, hopefully they'll have something over here because I really, I'm out of coffee grinds and I need to uh, have it for work, you know. So I found this little baby at Walmart. So this is the Hamilton Beach Custom Grind Coffee Grinder. This is not a supported, um, you know, they didn't pay me to do this review or anything. I just thought it'd be cool to throw, some, throw something up on YouTube for you guys. So I'm not going to sit here and talk and talk like I normally do because... That can drive some people crazy. We're just looking for a quick review. So, <clears throat> you got coarse, medium, and fine. You can turn this little knob to whatever. So, what I, I personally did to find my grind, you're going to have to play with it a little bit to figure out what you like. I put it to coarse, all the way to coarse, over on the left. And then I turn this little puppy right here up to 14. <clears throat> this is the amount of cups of beans that you have in there. And what's cool about this guy is let's see if i can i'm gonna just put the phone down for a second here because i gotta take this top off there we go so the top actually has these little locks right there <clears throat> on the side that lock in and there's this little stainless steel cup in here guys and what it does if you can see right there you've got your markings so you've got max which is 14 on the max line and 12 down you know, through. So I fill the beans to 12, set this to 14, okay, and this to coarse, and it gave me the perfect grind, like exactly what I'm looking for. And I'll show you guys what that looks like up close with a spoon, just so you can kind of know where to, maybe a reference point to start with if you're going to be doing this yourself. So this is how easy it is. So this stainless steel cup actually comes, um, it'll, it'll unlock, and come out just like that and the little motor is down in there so i'm gonna put that back in there lock that down so you gotta turn that down now this is another little cool little thing about it if you look on the bottom right here <clears throat> you can actually take the bottom of it move my box over so you guys can see take the bottom of it maybe i'll use my coffee cup instead there we go. watch this Grab the bottom and you can pull up on the coffee the coffee grinder and you can see there's that little space. That's where the cord hides. Pretty cool. Nice little way to store the cord. Just, I mean, I know it's stupid. It doesn't really like matter, but. So you line that back up with the base, push it up. And then get her all plugged in here. Okay, now. So we've got this thing plugged in. Now, I'm actually going to cheat here a little bit. I already ground my Black Rifle Coffee Company. I'm very particular. I only grind a certain amount for the week. I don't want to grind anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grind a little bit of the Starbucks Christmas blend for my girl, Alex. She likes uh, she likes Starbucks. So I'm going to get her some grinds going here just to show you guys how this thing works. So what I'll do is I fill it. Up to that, like I said, about that 12 line, you don't have to like, you don't have to be perfect, but be as close as you can. So what I found is, if you're looking, you don't really have to line the line up, but I like to just smooth the grinds out across the top, okay? 
and you'll see I'm pretty much lined up. Just leave yourself a little bit of space at the top. Really, that's that's about the 12 line, okay? Make sure I get as close as you can, because that's this is set to run a particular time based on the cups, and I know I'm setting it to 14 and only putting in 12, but that's how I kind of fooled the machine to get it to where I wanted it. You can put it in between coarse medium. I started on medium, and it, it, it's too fine for me. Um, I use a French press at work for all my, my peeps in the ICU, and uh, it just... They, it doesn't work good with the French press when it's too fine because then it gets too gritty. It goes through the filter on the French press. So you don't want to have that happen. So what I do, and then at home we use these. These are these little, like, because we use the Keurig. I do have a French press at home too, but sometimes it's just easier. So these, it kind of works, the grind works good. The grind that I'm doing here works really well for this because it's quasi-French pressy. I mean, it's, it is a K-cup, but you want... A little bit coarser of a grind because you don't want the crap going through those little tiny holes like you know getting in your coffee and being all gritty and it also works well on the french press so anyway this is locked in now the key to this guys this this lid i i fucked this up so see how it says align arrow with and twist to lock now you can't just put this thing on here and fucking twist it wherever okay that just does not work okay what you need to do on the back of the grinder it has a lock and unlock symbol. You need to line that arrow up with the unlock first. I might have to put the camera down. Nope, I got it. And then turn it to where it's lined up with the lock. This will not turn on. Take my word for it, because I, like I said, I tried. This thing will not turn on without that being in that position. If you have it in any other position, when you push the power button, it won't work. And at first I was like, fuck, I gotta go back to Walmart, I gotta turn this thing back, and da, 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 I'm not gonna have it for work, the whole thing. Don't panic, that has to be set a certain way. Now if you have it like that, and it still doesn't work, maybe try to adjust it, make sure that it's actually on there. I think it's just a safety thing, because you got the big old metal blades that are spinning in there. If somebody's got this cockeyed, it blasts off, somebody sticks their finger in there while it's on, no bueno, there goes your finger. So that's why I think they have it set up like that. All right, here we go. So we're going back over to course. Got our beans in there, got it locked the way we want it, got it up to 14. Listen how quiet this thing is. Here we go. Now, what you do, you just press the power button and don't worry about anything else. It's not like the crabby ones where you hold the button down and have to watch and and guess. That's the best part about these grinders. They're preset timers so that you get the perfect grind. So listen how quiet. Look, listen how quiet that is, guys. It's like not even, okay, so quiet incredible i was like blown away and fast like it's done it's literally done and no mess i mean i got a little bit you know grinds here and there from pouring the coffee in or whatever you get that every time you grind fucking coffee so let's see if i can all right so we pop that off there and there it is look at that yeah let's get this so that's my that's about what i like to see grind wise let's see if i can get a nice close up there so like i said not too crazy you know thin or whatever but it's got a little bit of coarseness to it but it's not big old chunks either where it's going to be watery in the french press so i like this grind right here but it's a very consistent grind you can see i mean all the way down to the bottom of the of the, the grinder i mean there's like very few like burrs and big old chunks that you that weren't ground up. Look at that. Really nice, nice job. And the best part is that cup pops right out, you know. And what we store it in, we actually have these little containers that we got. It's little like airtight containers. This one is Alex's. And we put that. Let's see here. So this just turns counterclockwise to unlock. Let's pick it. There you go. So you just take it and pour it in. That's it. And what's really nice, like with the crap on the bottom, you can kind of take it over the sink and just give it a little, little tap. Boom. And you're pretty much good to go. And it also comes with a little bit of a, spin that back down on there, on the back. Let's say right here. Let's see that way. So it says push. I press you press that and it's just a little brush that comes out and this little bugger is actually kind of handy you can get in there brush it out clean it whatever so let me tell you guys i like i said 
I know it's a 10 minute video for just showing you how to grind coffee, but what a great little grinder. It was 20, I think it was 26 bucks, 28 bucks, maybe 30 with tax. The other one was 50, so about half the price. This little guy cranks. I mean, you just saw a quiet. Now, I don't know about longevity, you know. I mean, this is always a risk you take with this stuff. My other grinder probably lasted at least a couple of years. The Cuisinart, which, of course, Cuisinart's known for their quality and stuff. They're kind of like the, you know, the BMW of uh, kitchen supplies. But this little Hamilton Beach, I was impressed how quiet it was, how, you know, how even the grinds are. That's my thing. A lot of these, these coffee grinders where you have to hold the button and you have to kind of guess. Like, you're looking in there like, oh, shit, is it where I want it? Is it where I, oh, fuck, I think I went too far. And there goes your grinds. There goes your, you know, you're throwing out your coffee. It's a waste of time. These preset timed ones are just so much more consistent because once you find your your grind you're you're good you're golden so i found it with this one you know i'll i'll put a comment down longevity wise if you know the video my youtube channel has been around for years so hopefully i can um remember to go back if this thing lasts for a long time i'll go back and i'll punch a comment in there for future viewers who uh wonder about longevity but what a great little grinder for 30 bucks or whatever so you know if you guys are looking for one you're looking to change it up a little bit this thing's pretty sweet thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like comment subscribe the whole the whole nine yards and i'll see you guys next time in world of warcraft take care guys